are on a journey. Here in Northern Virginia in the Washington DC area, uh, the pace of a journey is breathtaking. Plus many of us have been transplanted to this area from somewhere else. And we need a place where we can belong. And so we here at Springfield, we are like an oasis, a, a place where one can rest, reflect, a place where you can connect with God, connect with others, and to really discover what your purpose in this life journey is all about. God offers us a place where we can rest and reflect. Jesus said, come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I don't know about you, but I need some rest. And we here at Springfield offer that to you. So stop by and experience what Springfield has to offer for you. We deliver about 500 plus sandwiches every Sunday to the homeless shelter. I have been involved in the sandwich ministry from the get-go. Uh, my husband and I, John, we started the ministry. The sandwich ministry uh, has been serving since we started the Eleanor Kennedy Center down on Route 1. Uh, it's a homeless shelter for men and women, and uh, they use our sandwiches there every, every week. Well, since about 2004, we haven't had a budget. We go strictly on donations, so God always provides. We prepare about uh, 570 sandwiches a week, and except in the, uh, in the winter time when it gets bitterly cold, the shelters allow more people in, and we, we, that number jumps to about 700 plus. Sometimes people would ask, uh, are you going to make sandwiches next Sunday because next Sunday is a holiday or, or you know, something like that. So we, the homeless need to eat every week, so we, uh, we continue to uh, make these sandwiches. We've never missed a Sunday. You know, when Christ said, uh, if you do this for one of these, you, you do it to me when you feed the homeless. And I think everybody in the sandwich ministry feels that way because we have been doing this uh, for all those years. And uh, everybody down at the shelter gets to know the sandwich people. And, and they don't even know which church we go to anymore. They just call us the sandwich church. No stress. We just stand elbow to elbow. and We just talk with one another and we just have a great time. This is uh, something we really love to do. Uh, we had gone to some other churches where you felt kind of like a number. It was, I mean, it was enormous, and we just felt kind of lost. And I, I can still remember, you know, the first week here, I can still remember the families who came up and, and greeted us and, and made us feel really welcome. After our first visit, we were most interested in what our children would be involved in. And so we started looking at the Sunday school programs and some of the youth activities and where we'd be able to raise our children and we kept coming back because we saw how many wonderful opportunities there were for children in this church. The ministries that attracted me were the music ministries. We've been to a lot of churches and the music program here is just amazing. It's not just about singing, it's about glorifying God and in the process the children learn how to read music and the adults have a great time and there's things, everything from four-year-olds up through adults, there's something for everyone. And uh, that was so, something that was important to me, and it was important for my children, and um, we just can't get enough of it. Every single one of our family members is involved in the music ministry in some way. It's more fun. Um, you know, the, the, the kids love it, and uh, it feels very alive. Springville United Methodist Church is a church family. It is made up of singles, married couples, young, old. There's so many people here who our family and treat others with a family. There's no judging. It's a come as you are church. They treat you as a member of the family regardless of where you are on your faith journey. If you're looking for a family who's going to be there for you and uh, prepare meals when you're going through some rough times and or even just pray for you when you need some extra prayers, this is the place that you'll find exactly what you're looking for.